Hello, online pipe community. Ethan, Parsimonious Piper here. It is Cobb Tuesday. Got my Cobb Tuesday Cobb. Missouri Mearsham Patriot. Got my Cobb Tuesday hat. In my Cobb Tuesday Cobb, <clears throat> I am smoking a bowl of Robert McConnell's The Original Scottish Cake. Seems like all the cool kids have been trying this one lately. I may be late to the party, but I want to be cool too. Now, I am not much of a reviewer. But I am going to tell you what I think. When you open this tin up. Tin, by the way, was a wonderful gift from Nick Shallow Pockets. When you open this tin up, you are met. Now, I've also been aging this one for a bit. It's got at least a year on it, if not more. I don't know how long Nick had had it before he sent it to me. But when you open this up, there is a, just a sweet... It's what you think of as that dark fruit, slightly vinegary... Um, dark red Virginia that made me a little nervous because red Virginias and I don't get along all that well I open that up look at that moisture this can was still very much very much sealed that's sticking there it's really more of a broken flake can't stop smelling it that just that stuff just smells fantastic now i have always loved the smell and the taste of red virginias but there's always been something chemically going on there that i get burned so that i don't physically enjoy red virginias let's get relit now this scottish cake has got some red and dark Virginias in it. It's got some burley and, and a, a pinch of perique is what I read. Right off the bat, definitely taste those dark fruity Virginias. And, uh, and like I said before, I, I really love that taste. After only a couple of bowls of this, this is not burning my mouth the way Red Virginias usually do. So either they've processed it differently, maybe my body chemistry is changing, or the percentage of Burley that's in this, Burley or Kentucky, is uh, high enough. But even as wet as it is, I did not really give it any significant dry time. And uh, the bowls that I've had, man, they uh, they burn with only a couple of relights. And usually that's because I'm not paying attention and tending it. Really, really very good. Now, each bowl, I have noticed something once I get down into the bowl a little bit. And that is... When I, uh, when I hold that smoke, roll it around in my mouth. There's a little bit of a taste there that I couldn't put my finger on at first. Now, I am not pretending to be the second coming of Jim Inks. But what that taste reminds me a little bit of is cinnamon. I'm guessing that's the perique coming in. And by cinnamon, I do not mean a sweet Cinnabon type sugary cinnamon. You know, not your uh, French toast cereal uh, cinnamon. But if you've had a, a good spicy North African dish, you know those... Um, the combination, the blend of spices that they use is definitely different than 
than anything that we typically use here in the States. And one of the things that stands out in that is a little bit of a spicy cinnamon. And that's kind of the impression I get with this. I don't really taste cinnamon necessarily, but but it has that kind of a, a very light heat. Little contrast. Not a terribly spicy perique. Uh, like some vapors are. Uh, I guess this is really, uh, this is billed as a Virginia Burley family blend, not a vapor. Not really surprising. The Perique is not, it's not strong in this. But I just thought that uh, for those of you who have a similar palette to mine, that like the, like the darker stuff and have shied away from red Virginia's, Might be one worth trying. It's, uh, like I said, it is not burning me at all, and it's got fantastic flavor. This is, uh, this is going to be one of those very rare Virginia heavy blends that's a four star out of five for me. And uh, and in my spreadsheet, that four star just means that just about any time I'm doing a a tobacco purchase. I look through what I've rated at four stars and see if it's available and uh, and always get it if it's on sale. A lot of times I'll get it just for being available. Uh, this is going to be a four star. I won't hunt it down like I will black and brown Irish twists, but when I can, I'll buy more. Thanks, Nick. Fantastic stuff. Really, really fantastic stuff. Well, I'm going to enjoy this. Y'all, find something you can enjoy. Light something you like. Enjoy that afternoon. <laughs>